Hello everyone, this is Anna Carter from Rose River Way Studio and I'm here for this week's 5 minute watercolor tutorial. Now this week we're actually going to start with a sketch and we are going to do a butterfly. So all I'm going to do with my pencil is just to find a small line and this is the body of the butterfly. And I'm also going to define the head and the antenna. And the reason I'm doing these with a pencil is because this painting is so fast, so I won't have time to wait for the rest of my painting to dry in order to put these details in. So if I did them earlier, or I mean it with paint, then they would all blend together. Okay, so now I've got just my two cute little antenna my body and the head and we're going to paint in the wings. Okay, so I'm using a number seven round brush and I like to use larger brushes to help me loosen up a little bit. Okay, so for this butterfly, I'm always kind of drawn to red. So let's do some warm colors. Okay, so I want a lot of water on my brush. I just have a little bit of red. And I'm going to start with the wing. And again, this is very loose painting. So we're just suggesting the uh, shape of the wing. And one mistake a lot of people make with butterflies is they, they do one wing that starts here and they do the bottom wing that starts there. But actually, both wings start right under the head here. So this is just my top wing. And I did a loose color. And now I'm tapping in more pigment at the base here to give me that nice starburst effect. Maybe pull it along the top emphasize that. It looks great. Okay. Now again with a lighter tone I'm going to suggest, well you know maybe I'll actually mix in some yellow. Let's give it a slightly different color. So now I'm doing more of an orange and I will pull down and you can't see the bottom wing quite as much and generally it's a little bit more rounded. Okay, and then um, I also want to do the, the wings behind the butterfly. So here's the rear wing. It's a really light tone and I'm leaving some white space here so that you can distinctly see the difference between those two wings. If I wanna add some character, I just plop in some more pigment and that will spread out nicely. And okay, so for this bottom wing, I want to pull that color of the red wing in a little bit more. I think it'll look better if I balance that color. So I'm poking in some of the same red and letting that flow out there. Okay, and because this is a loose butterfly, let's do a little spritz of color. So I'm getting a lot of water and some pigment on my brush, and I'm actually just going to flick right over top of it, just enough to give it that fun look. And there you go, we have our loose watercolor butterfly. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked this five minute tutorial, please subscribe and you can see the rest next week. Thanks a lot, bye.